lines at the moment. In the, the last half hour, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has announced new legislation to assist those affected by the post office scandal. Yesterday, the post office's former CEO, Paula Venels, returned her CBE, but some people are now saying it just isn't enough and she should pay back the money she received, believed to be almost £3 million, in performance-related bonuses and payments in lieu of pension. Um, it's been hugely controversial, devastating for so many people, Katie. Mm -hmm. and, and here we are talking about it because of, because of the ITV drama and the attention that that has garnered. It's, that. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's possibly one of the biggest miscarriages of justice that I've certainly known in my lifetime. Um, and I can see why the money is incredibly important. But I think it goes beyond that. You know, this is something that actually money can't fix. You know, people, innocent people spent a long time in prison. They were known in their communities as a thief. Mm -hmm. People's dignity, their reputation, people lost their lives. And I don't know what price you could actually put on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, Paula Venels has um, had released a statement. She said, I have listened and I confirm that I return my CBE with immediate effect. I'm truly sorry for the devastation caused to the sub postmasters and their families. Um, it just feels like it's been such an ongoing saga for so many people that apologies just don't cut it anymore, Gloria. I know. You see, it's a, it's a huge wake up call for all of us on all levels, you know, from the government right down to, the, I don't mean down to these people because they are the most important people involved. Um, but I was thinking, you see, it's easy to say the money's not important. And I know that uh, Paul Venice has said public pressure really has forced her to get back her CBE. And I think that public pressure will force her to perhaps pay back some of the bonuses, payouts. Uh, I mean, I read one figure that just said it was five million pounds in her pocket perks, uh, payment, bonuses, etc. And when you think about it, you know, she's at the top. Sometimes the buck stops at the top and she was not yeah. doing her job. <laughs> it's as simple as that. But you see, for me, I think the money is important. Because... I do think it's important, but I think something else is irreplaceable no, in I addition to that. No, I understand that. that. Yeah. But you see, yeah. some of these people have had their lives torn apart, they've yeah. lost their homes, um, you know, some have gone to prison, you know. Well, they've been left destitute. I mean, yeah. You know, and these people have nothing. Some of them mm. have nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think a, a payout either from the company that made the uh, software, which obviously is to blame as well, from the government. Mm. And what a no I haven't seen the drama yet because I was away. Uh, but it seems ridiculous that it's a drama by ITV that has raised this and proven things after 20 years of everybody faffing around. <laughs> and so in my book, I just think that we need new laws. We need action from the government one way or another, and indeed from the company manufacturing the software. I mean, there it ends. I mean, it kind of says it all, really. Mm. And I hope that these poor people, hundreds of them, you know, and as you rightly say, some have committed suicide, some have been in prison, some have been really ill, mental pressures, etc. But mm. they need something to buck their lives up after 20 years mm. of being accused of the wrong, mm. which is awful. Yeah, I mean, I, Gloria said everything there. No. I, it's, yeah. I think... It's worth. No, exactly. For me as well, I think when you talk about um, Paula Venels, I do think that she is a, a one cog in a massive wheel and there's been a big spotlight on her, and rightly so, but that spotlight should go across very many people. And we talk about Fujitsu. Um, after 2019, when, when the government realised that there was an issue with the software, Fujitsu were con they continued to be handed these huge, big contracts from the government. They were handed £5 billion worth of government contracts after they found out there was a problem with the post office By situation. By the way, of our money. Of, uh, and we it, shouldn't let the government hide behind her they can as hide. the one scapegoat. That's, that's you know? for me as well. I think this Fujitsu, they, they definitely need to step up as well. I think the buck well. stops They're... with the government, quite frankly, because <laughs> they brought it in. They've got, they've got to do something. 95% um, of our viewers think that the, the Paula should hand back the money that she was given in terms of bonuses and everything else, which is a huge percentage. I imagine um, she doesn't have it, though. Well... It was over all those years. I mean, 
Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's indeed the problem. But like we say, this ITV document, it's a, it's an extraordinary that it's come to this documentary making this happen. Um, it is being re-shown next week on ITV One. It kicks off on Monday the 15th of January at a quarter past 11. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it all on ITVX. Um, definitely, definitely. You feel supportive, in fact, yeah. of all those that have been involved just by watching the documentary and being informed properly. So, um, yeah, very interesting times and hopefully there will be justice for all of those affected. Thank you.